watching this free video tutorial which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. In this lesson we learn about the light mix future in Corona 4 Cinema 4D. According to Corona developers, light mix lets you adjust intensity and color of your light and light emitting materials during and after render. Uh, perfect for anything from subtle adjustments through to turning day into night. Uh, light mix allows for rendering an image just once and then changing colors and intensities of the light directly from the Corona frame buffer without having to re-render the scene. We are using the same scene from the interior lighting lesson. You can download the scene from Kiosk Group website. I have adjusted the scene and added a few different lights so we can talk about light mix in Corona. We have a few different lights. If I run the interactive rendering, I can show you. First, we have the ceiling lights, which are Corona IES lights. Uh, there are eight of them and they are instances of one another. So if I adjust the uh, main Corona light here, this IES one, the change will be applied to all of them. If I turn them off and on, you can see how they affect the scene. The Kelvin temperature has been set to 15,000 for these lights, so they cast this nice blue tone. We also have this warm desk light. We have our environment light, which is coming from this uh, Cinema 4D sky with a Corona light material applied to that has an HDRI image as the emission texture. We have this background plane that we assign the uh, sunset image to it. We also have this uh, Corona sun, which we can turn it on and off. Okay, to be able to use light mix first, we need to separate all of the lights into separate layers using render passes. And we can do that using Corona multipass window. So let's open it up from the Corona menu. From the active passes section, enable multipass. On the left side, you can find this available passes list. And if you come down, there are these two specific light mix passes light mix and light select. The first pass that we need to add all the time is a light mix pass and this is the render pass that makes the light mixing possible in the Corona frame buffer. And now we need to start adding light select render elements for the lights that we have in the scene. So for each light or group of lights that we want to have separate control over using light mix, we need to add a separate light select render element or a render pass. So to sum up, Every time we want to use the light mix future, we need one light mix render pass and a few light select render passes based on the amount of lights that we have in the scene. Uh, let's add the first light select pass and rename it to IES lights. Now we need to add the lights that we need to be included in this render pass to this include list on the right side. So select all the IS lights and add them to the list. And make sure to enable apply denoising for this layer, which if you are planning on enabling denoising in your final render, you need to make sure it's enabled so different light mix layers will be denoised individually. Now add another light select pass and rename it to desk light. Select the desk light in the object manager and add it to the list and enable apply denoising. The naming of these render passes does not have to be matched with the light name in the scene. I just do that to be able to recognize them easier later on. Let's add another light select pass and rename it to sun. And add the corona sun and enable denoising. The 
Now we just need another light select render pass for the environment. So add a light select render element or render pass. Rename it to sky. And add the cinema for the sky, which is responsible for the environment's lighting. And enable the noising. Perfect. Now, if you start the interactive rendering, I'm going to wait a bit so the render gets a bit cleaner. Now, if we go to the light mix tab of the Corona frame buffer, we can control the color and intensity of our light during or after the render, which is a great feature. As you can see in this light mix tab, our different lights has been listed and we can turn them on and off, change their intensity and color. We have our sky or environment, our bluish IES lights, the desk light, the sun, and this uh, unassigned layer which contains the background plane. Corona created this layer automatically. So first let's turn this Corona sun off as we really don't need it for now let's say i want to increase the is lights intensity all i have to do is to increase uh, the intensity from let's say one to two and now those lights are getting twice as bright as before if i select the main is light in the scene the intensity for it is set to about 10 watts so when we change the intensity from one one to two in the light mix uh, we basically use 20 watts as their intensity Let's say we want to change the IES lights color to a much more saturated blue. Uh, so let's do that. And as you can see, the changes are applied in real time. Let's say uh, we can decrease the intensity of the sky. Uh, we need to kind of reduce the intensity of the background plane illumination to match it with the environment's lighting. If we want to get a night light, let's make the desk light a bit yellower. And increase its intensity maybe to something like two or even more. And uh, you get a totally different lighting setup compared to what we started with. Let's change this night lighting to a daylight setup. I'm going to turn off the IS lights and the desk lights. Turn on the Corona Sun. Let's turn off the background plane illumination for now as well. For the sky, we know it's coming from a sunset HDRI, so there are a lot of oranges in it. To balance some of that warmth, let's change the color to a bluish one with the RGB values of 116. 161 and 255 increase its intensity from 1 to 8 and we can turn on the rest layer as well and increase its intensity to something like 12 so we won't be able to see the sunset background and if i stop the render we just need to change the white balance to something like uh, 5700 to get rid of some of that warm tones and make the render more neutral and there you have it a night render turned into a daylight render in few moments using corona light mix down here in the light mix panel we have a few simple options using save and load buttons you can save out uh, light mix presets so if you want to save out this daylight preset for this scene, you can click on this save button, name it whatever you want, maybe something like daylight room, and click on the save button. Now if we use this all one and all white button to turn all the lights to their default colors and intensities, we can load that preset again that we just saved out and turn it to day again. Using this toggle all, you can turn all the lights on and off. Let's set all the lights to their default intensity by using all one button and turn off the Corona Sun. 
And using this convert to scene button, you can bake the altered colors and intensities in the light mix panel to the actual settings of the lights in the scene. When you set up different render passes, you can see those render passes right here in the frame buffer. If you take a look at them, you see we have our beauty pass, which is the original render without light mix adjustments, our interactive light mix render pass, then the IES lights, the desk lights, the environment sky and the corner sun. So in order for light mix to work, it needs these individual passes. To disable the light mix feature, you just need to delete or disable all these render passes from the multipass window. One thing I would like to note is that if you are trying to lean on light mix in a specific render, it would be much wiser if your light sources had more neutral colors closer to white than using extreme colors because you can easily change white to any color, but changing a very warm light source to a very cold one might not be that doable. For example, if I select this desk light in this scene, you notice it has a very orangish color. And in the light mix, if we set its color and intensity to the default values and turn off the rest of the lights, if you try to change its color to a blue color, you notice because the original color of the light is orange, uh, when you set a color in your color picker, it's not a one-to-one -one change. But if I stop the render, and change the original color of the light to white and start the render again. Now I can simply change its color to any color that I want because now the original color is white and we can go from white to any other color. Okay, in this lesson we learned about Corona Light Mix. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.